Hello, art students. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to research an artist using our subscription research databases. The first database we're going to be using today is Biography and Context, which is a Gale database. You will click on the hyperlink. It will take you to the page with the text box where you can enter your artist name. You'll click on the magnifying search icon, and it will pull up any articles or items that have that name in the description. So we have a couple of magazine articles here, an audio um, file, and then also some news articles. I'm going to go ahead and select the art forum article here. And when you click into it, you will see that you will be able to save the article directly to your drive by simply clicking this drive icon. You can also listen to the article. It will read the article to you, so it will take text and turn it into speech. There are also some citations, recommended citation um, here that you can look at. However, we are talking about Noodle Tools today, so I will recommend that you put all of this information into your Noodle Tools and generate your own citations in Noodle Tools because there may be some errors here. So this is the first database. The second database that we're going to be looking at today is going to be JSTOR. JSTOR stands for Journal Storage. You will have to log into this database. If you have not already logged in, I have logged in, which is why it says Tom Glenn High School at the top. So if you're not sure about the login details, please ask your teacher. I will share that with them. You will type in your artist name once again in the text box, and you see that it's automatically telling me it's pulling up 25 results with that name. So we see 21 in our search results that we have access to. You want to make sure that you have content I can access selected, not all content. You can also adjust this by date if you so choose, or you can sort it by relevance up here with this drop down arrow. Um, I'm going to select all this top article just to give you an idea of what it looks like inside of JSTOR. So once you're inside of JSTOR, this is what it looks like. This is a 10-page article. You can toggle between pages by clicking on the arrow on the right, or you can expand it to full size, full screen um, by clicking on this arrow right here. Make it larger or do full screen. So right here, we also have some citation information. So where it says cite this item, when you're pulling information, you can look at this for reference, but you should still plug in your details into Noodle Tools and create citations from scratch. That is the second database. The third database that we're gonna be looking at today is from EBSCO and it's Academic Search Complete. So it's right above that JSTOR one. So in here, the same thing, we're looking for those text boxes and we're not going to do an advanced search, we're just doing a basic search here. So we'll go ahead and click search. So instead of that magnifying glass, it has the search button. And you will see that you have a bunch of articles here. So we have 20 as well here. So if you are looking for full text, you will want to select full text. That's usually what we're looking for. If you want something more academic, something peer reviewed, you can click on scholarly journals as well. And you can also adjust for publication date here. You can select the source types here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this first title so we can see it. With this particular research database, it will offer you the opportunity sometimes to have HTML full text or a PDF file. So here I see the text is underneath that information um, and I can listen to it. I can change the accents if I want. And then my citation information is over here as well. So citations, if you click on that, that will guide you as you're creating your citations with the different citation styles. And also you have the ability to save to your Google Drive as you did with the first one that we looked at, Gail.